it's been a while since I made this, but something you can make and include the kids in, and then it winds up being a treat when they're done. You know, something to kill, some time, keep the kids busy, and it's a lot of fun. When I was a child, I used to make cinnamon sugar cookies all the time. I was um, fortunate enough that my mother, uh, thank you mom, taught both me and my sister how to cook from a very young age. So we were always making cookies or cobblers and helping out in the kitchen. You know, even something as simple as how to make macaroni and cheese. You know, uh, probably from the time we were eight or nine years old, you know, and, until we moved out, we were constantly helping in the kitchen. Um, and I think that's something that a lot of kids don't get to do now. But anyways, you can make regular sugar cookies or cinnamon sugar cookies. And the, the ingredients are slightly different, but this is for cinnamon sugar cookies. And it's been so long since I made them. I honestly can't even remember the recipe. I had to look it up online. Uh, basically, this is what it is. One and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Quarter teaspoon of salt. A half cup of butter. The sugar is going to be divided into two measurements. And you'll realize why when we start making them. But you need a one quarter cup of granulated sugar, three quarter cups of brown sugar, you need one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, you also need a second one half cup of granulated sugar, and two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon that I don't have set out yet, but I promise you I got cinnamon. So that's all the ingredients you need and this is how we make it. actually coming back uh, I do have the cinnamon you can also do a variation that is chocolate sugar cookies and all that requires is some Hershey's cocoa unsweetened so I'm doing the cinnamon sugar cookies and uh, if you want to know how to make regular sugar cookies or the chocolate sugar cookies just google the recipe for those the ingredients are almost identical with some minor variations in the In one bowl, you're going to measure out the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. Um, again, it is one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, which comes out to 150 grams. Because I always measure my flour. I need 150 grams of flour. I always just use a spoon and a one cup measuring cup. So I'll put 100 grams in here. Then I'll go back and do another one with 50. There's actually 103, so I only need 47. Here's my first bowl. Close enough, 48. I also needed quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt. If I go over, it's not going to really matter that much. So that looks like a quarter to me. That looks like a quarter teaspoon to me. Okay, so with that done, set it out of the way. Go ahead and grab you another bowl. We're going to add our butter, which was a half cup butter, which comes out to 113 grams. That's 114, that's close enough. Goes in there. We need a half cup of sugar, which comes out to be 50 grams. I'm making a mess everywhere. I'm going to call that good enough. I actually got quite a bit of sugar on the top of that and I saw the 
weight change. And then I need brown sugar. I need three quarter cup of brown sugar. Apparently my camera shut off. We need 150 grams of brown sugar. Which is three quarters of a cup by the way. So once you've got the brown sugar, the white sugar, and the butter in your other bowl, this is where you take and mix it up. It helps if the butter is softened. And I will bring you back when this is done. Okay, so once you've got your butter and your sugar, is that on screen? Once you've got your butter and your sugar mixed, next you're going to add the one egg. going to add the vanilla which is one teaspoon if you get a little extra it won't matter and half of your cinnamon so one and a quarter tablespoons I'm just going to go with one tablespoon Normally I would take and scrape that, but let's face it, if you have too much or not enough cinnamon, it's still going to be good. Then you're going to mix this up. When you have that mixed up, it's going to look like this. You're going to add your other bowl that has your flour and uh, baking soda and salt to this bigger bowl mix it all up okay the next part is you take the other cinnamon and the other sugar let me see what that was it was a half cup of sugar and then the one and a half cups of cinnamon. You mix that together. This right here, this bowl that we originally used would be perfect for that. You're then going to take and drop your cookie dough, which is this, onto a uh, cookie sheet. And then you're going to take your mixed cinnamon and sugar, sprinkle it on the top. And then we're going to put it in the oven and I'll bring you back when I get to that part because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me scoop all these out. I could only That's find one of my cookie sheets. I lined it with wax paper just to make cleanup easier. And you can see about the size that I've dumped those out at. So let me get the other sugar and cinnamon mixed up. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to mix up the sugar and the cinnamon, it was a half cup of sugar, I believe. I'm going to just estimate what a half cup of sugar is. Close enough. I'm going to estimate. Nah, I can actually do this one. So I needed a one and a half teaspoons, tablespoons, I mean, of cinnamon. Now you're probably going to have more of this left over than what you actually use. If you've got extra uh, cinnamon and sugar after this is over with, then just take and make you some uh, cinnamon toast or something in the morning. So next, take the sugar and cinnamon, kind of sprinkle it on the top. You also want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You want to put the cookies in the oven. 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. I'm going to put these in here for 12 minutes and then I'm going to check them. And we'll be back in 12 minutes. I have the second batch in the oven now. This is the first batch. Ended up taking 14 minutes. I also made the cookies just slightly smaller because as you can see, they expanded out quite a bit 